Beyonce. Uh, in her battle against two of America's mega retailers, Amazon and Target, the retail giants are actually uh, in one corner. They have refused to sell her newest video CD because Beyonce gave it to iTunes exclusively for a one-week period. Now Beyonce is showing they may just have to deal. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more on that. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Lara. In new video released on Beyonce's Facebook page overnight, she reveals that minutes before her album surprise release, she had doubts that she envisioned the worst possible things that could happen. So far, the only real fallout is from Amazon and Target. The drunken love diva dazzled as she arrived at her New York City album release party over the weekend. The same album she managed to keep secret and then released without any advance promotion. I've never done anything so brave in my life. And in this video released overnight, the singer came clean. I really, really wanted to, to surprise people and for them to really just hear the art and it not be about the hype and the promotion. And while the album's unconventional release left her fans stunned, Target and Amazon might better be described as shunned. Both Target and Amazon are now refusing to stock the CD version of the 32-year-old self-titled album, which debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. The problem? When Beyonce wowed her fans earlier this month with a first-of-its-kind visual album with 14 songs and 17 music videos, she sold the album exclusively on iTunes, where it set a new iTunes record, selling more than a million copies in just five days. In the darkest night, oh. The one-week exclusive deal with iTunes made an impressive $9.5 million. Still, while most retailers are choosing to sell the album, Target and Amazon are united in their protest. What Amazon and I think Target are saying to the labels in general is, you can't boss us around anymore. You can't tell us what we get a piece of and what we don't. When ABC News reached out, Amazon declined comment, and Target referred us to their original statement that they are primarily focused on offering CDs that will be available in a physical format at the same time as all other formats. Then, just this past Friday, Beyonce made yet another unexpected move. Testing Walmart shopper. She paid a surprise visit to this Massachusetts Walmart, where she gave all 750 shoppers inside $50 gift cards, almost $38,000 worth of free money, and then dropped one of her own CDs into her shopping cart. Oh, Merry, Merry Christmas from Beyonce. There are reports that Amazon may take further action against Sony Music and Columbia for giving preferential treatment to Apple. But in the meantime, those sales continue the reign of Queen Bee, in fact. Yes. yes. Awesome. Spectacular. And you know, you always want an extra copy of your own CD. I guess, yeah. yeah. You know. It's a great gift. <laughs>